crackalackin' everybody, your boy Mongo's back and today I have a very special video for you guys. As you can see, I am in none other than the Album Kitchen, which means today we are doing a DIY Giant Spaghetti Stuffed Meatball Game. Guys, today we are doing a DIY Giant Spaghetti Stuffed Meatball, alright? Since we are in the kitchen, we are DIYing it up. I have none other than my main man, Chad with a J, behind the camera. Jado, say what's up to the people. All right, everybody, give me a here on three, all right? One, two, three, here. So we got all our ingredients. We are ready to go. But before we start today's video, I need you guys to go down, smash that like button. Let's try to crush 10,000 likes on this giant DIY. It's been a while since I've done something giant. So I'm super excited to get things going today. So let's not waste any more time. First step in our DIY giant spaghetti stuff meatball game is obviously to make our spaghetti. Guys, that's gonna take the longest time. So we have all our fresh ingredients on this side. Let's move over to the stove where I already have some water boiling, all right? Organization and efficiency. And I have angel hair pasta, guys. Angel hair pasta is the very, very, very thin pasta. I'm gonna open this guy up so you can see what I'm talking about here. Like, come Man. Like ah man yeah. ah. So here, you see how they're like Ooh. super thin? You know what I mean? That's I the vibe ones. we want because we are stuffing our meatball with pasta. We don't want a lot of pasta in there, nor do we want it to take up too much space. So here we go. I like to crack my pasta in half when I do it. Boom, there we go. And maybe we'll grab a little bit more pasta -ni. and we'll go here and here. All right? Yeah, David, this one's for you, my G. Here. 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 <laughs> so we want to put a little bit of salt into our spaghetti, but let's move over back here. Yo, while this things... man said a little bit of salt, <laughs> man. You ha emptied yeah. half the thing out. Guys, it was only a little bit, all right? We're going to strain it anyway. While that's going, we can prep our tomato sauce. So what we need for our tomato sauce is two cans of, obviously, tomato sauce. One big can of crushed tomato. We got some basil, we got some oregano, we got some chili. We're not gonna use a lot of this, this is just a little bit for flavor. And for the hell of it, I'm gonna throw one small clove of garlic in there. First things first, guys, you wanna pop open these cans. So here we go with our can opener. Here, 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 here. Oh, oh my god. Don't ever play yourself. You played yourself. Here. Bang. Alrighty, so we have our cans open. We wanna take these cans and transfer them over to our big old pot. All right, now what we want to do is turn this guy on to a very low heat. All right, we don't want to burn the sauce. We want to just warm it up. So first can of crushed tomato here. Bare crushed tomato. You see what I'm saying over here. That looks now, so nice. We want to grab our tomato sauce. Here, some tomato sauce. Now tomato sauce has a little bit of garlic, has a little bit of extra spices in it. And another one. Boom. So while that's starting to simmer, what we want to do is take some fresh basil, all right? Hey. We're going to take some basil. We need six leaves of basil. You mean basil because it's bongo. Bongo is oh, a seal. No, 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 no. Yo, basil. Yo, basil. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's an, uh, there's an extra little one in there, but he can come too. So what we want to do with the basil is line them all up like this. Give them one half fold, all right? And start cutting them into little strips like so here. All right, now you see the little strip vibes on the other side here, all right? We got fresh basil to little strip vibes. Bro, watch your fingers, yo, they're so close. All right, boom, boom, boom. So this amount of basil can come, and we're just gonna sprinkle it on top, hey. just like so. Just a little bit of basil to give it a little vibes. Vibes. So first things first, guys, we wanna put a little bit of black pepper into this, guy. So here we go, we're just gonna go off with our black pepper and put it on top like so. Here, we're gonna take a little bit of oregano. All right, we're just gonna sprinkle it on top right here to give it that Italian vibes. So here we go with the oregano here, 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 here. That's good. Now, we're gonna take a little bit of chili powder, guys. Not a lot of chili powder, just a little sprinkle up top like so. Boom, that's enough chili. So what we wanna do now is just mix this guy up nice and gently, all right? We wanna make sure that all the ingredients are getting mixed. We also wanna add some salt to this guy, David. No, no, stress. no, 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 no. All right, but we're just gonna put a little bit of salt in here and we're gonna continue mixing this guy up, all right? Just to give it that nice Italian vibe. So, so we're gonna wait until this guy simmers, then our sauce will be ready. By that time, our angel hair pasta will be done. So, in the meantime, organization and efficiency. <laughs> so, what we're gonna be doing is preparing our ground beef for our meatball. So, what we Whoa, want- Whoa, for our DIY. 
giant meatball yank here. The first step in preparing our ground beef is to get a big old bowl. Now what we want to do is grab a bunch of ground beef, all right? Now we got about two kilos of ground beef here. That's probably like 16,000 pounds. I'm not sure how the metric system works, but what we wanna do is plop all that ground beef in here like so, here. Now what you guys wanna do is grab a little onion, all right? What we wanna do, top, cut the top, cut the bottom, and we wanna finely mince this guy, all right? We don't want big chunks of onion in our meatball. We wanna make sure that it stays very, very thin. So what we want to do here is we want to use this technique where we take it, we're going for little, little slices like so. All right. As soon as we're done that, we're going to turn this around like so. And now we're going to go with the small minced onions like so. You see the little onion vibes that are coming out on the other side here. And give it an extra one, two chop just in case. But you see these little onion vibes, exactly what we're looking for. So. Yo, you're Ramsey looking at cheesy me. You're so <laughs> nice with a knife. Holy. Here. Those are nice and thin. For people who don't like onions, you won't even taste them. That's the thing. You want to make them as small as possible. You don't want an onion to come in your meatball. You just want onion flavor, all right? So here we go. That's as thin as they're going to get. These guys can come in here like so. Here. Those are going to melt in there, lie. Melt up, bro. And they're going to make the meat a little bit more tender, too. It's gonna give it a nice oniony vibe. Next guys, you wanna grab some fresh parsley, all right? Every Lebanese person is H. Jado, do you like, do you like parsley? Facts, guys, Bongo's favorite food is made with the main ingredients, parsley. Mmm, delicious. When working with fresh parsley, guys, you guys wanna chop these guys off to the side and grab a little bunch like so. You wanna bring them all together again and you want to come very small slices, all right? Very quick, very small slices. We don't want big pieces of parsley. We want little pieces like this. You see what I mean? So we want to take a just a little bit of parsley. That This much is enough. Boom, into our bowl like so. Next, guys, we want to take a clove of garlic, all right? So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to take one like this. This is a nice trick. You take your knife and you just press it down like so, and then all that fun stuff comes off real nice and easy here. Boom, all right? Now, you want to take this part, chop it off, and take your clove of garlic, put it in a little bowl. Where's my salt? Davis Grass. No, 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 no. We're going to put a little bit of salt into the bowl. <laughs> That's all going in the meatball. And then we just want to crush our garlic like so here. All right. So, as you guys can see, we have a nice paste of garlic. What we want to do is actually just bring that guy all together like so. And here, dump it in there. See how it's a nice paste? Yeah, it's like a puree. Amazing. Next up, guys, what we want to do is take some Italian seasoned breadcrumbs. Now, this one also has Romano cheese in it, so it's saving me an extra step. But if you guys get Italian breadcrumbs that don't have Romano cheese in it, you might want to add just a little bit of Romano for that flavor, all right? So we're going to open this guy up, and we're just going to eye this guy out here. But essentially, you don't want too much, all right? but you want enough so that the meatball sticks together. So this is probably, here, 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 enough breadcrumbs. Next step into our DIY giant meatball is some Worcestershire sauce. Now, I don't know who invented this word. I don't know why it's pronounced this way. If anybody, if you were to ask anybody how to pronounce this, you, they would probably say, no idea, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But we're gonna put some Worcestershire sauce. And like so, we don't want too much, just a couple dabs here, here, here. Now, our next step is, guys, we want to take a little can of club No. All right. And put it in, like, the full can like that? No, don't put the full can in like that. What you guys want to do is open up this club soda, all right? Don't put the full can. You guys want about a teaspoon and a half. So what we're going to do is just throw that up in there like so, all right? So there's our club soda. Okay, so first of all, last video, you tell me to julienne a freaking ingredient. Now, now you're telling me club soda goes in this thing? It helps the meat stick together, all right? That's what the club soda is used for. You're gonna put a little, little bit of club soda into your meatball. Trust me, it's gonna work out fantastic. Now, obviously, guys, the last step is to put in some dry spices and salts and things of that nature. So here we go with some black pepper. Here, that's enough. And now, again, with the Italian vibes, we're going to put a little bit of oregano in that guy. Here, here, here. And to top it off, David's crest, <laughs> some salt. Here. All right, just a little bit of salt. Now, it's time to get dirty, meat. We got to take off the jewels, oh. Jared. You take off the jewels. You put the lion beside the other ring. You put this guy, take this guy off, because that might get dirty too still. Put the jewels job. down. All right, take your hands, guys. You want to get messy. And now, we just want to mix 
this entire concoction of breadcrumbs, beef, onion, parsley, garlic, salt, ground pepper, and some oregano all together until you have one nice mixture of ground beef. Bro, that low key looks amazing. It's gonna taste fantastic. So here we go guys, make sure you mix it all nice and well, all right? You don't want chunks of breadcrumbs sticking out of your meatball, all right? So make sure you mix it nice and well like so, here. So once you've mixed it up halfway, what you guys wanna do is now grab an egg, all right? and throw your egg into the concoction like so. Here, so there's our first egg, grab another one. Like, ah, oh, come on. Boom, second egg. Once you put your eggs in there, you wanna continue mixing with your hands, and again, you wanna go with a nice, even mix. So make sure you get all the eggs in your concoction like so, here. All right, guys, so I've been mixing this guy for about four or five minutes. As you guys can see, it is one big dutty meatball already, all right, but, it is not quite spaghetti stuffed enough. So while I was mixing this, my buddy Giado helped me out with my other bowl because my hands were a little bit dirty, all right? He's lined out a glass oven safe bowl with aluminum foil, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take about a third of this guy here, all right? And I'm gonna save it, all right? I'm gonna put this guy on the side. I'm gonna save about a third. Uh, that's about a third. Now, with the other two thirds, what I wanna do is I wanna put it in the bowl and I wanna start lining my bowl with the meatball, okay? So that I can give it a little bit of depth so that I can stuff it with spaghetti. But you see this hand technique I'm doing here? I'm not rushing it, all right? I just wanna make sure that it's nice and even coating around the entire bowl. But I also wanna make sure that there's a deep enough bowl so that I can fill it up with spaghetti oz. So here we go with the bowl, boom, 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 all right? And we're creating that little pocket in the bottom like so, but we wanna make sure that there's enough so that it comes out, all right? So we're gonna add a little bit more here. This is some nice arts and crafts, bro. Here, some nice DIYs, you know those ones? All right guys, as you can see, I've lined out my bowl, my meatball concoction is all around the bowl with a nice dutty hole in the middle. That's what we're gonna use to stuff this meatball with the spaghetti, so! It is time to wash off our hands, go back to our spaghetti mixture, and put the top to this meatball and chuck this bad boy in the oven. Here. All right guys, so I've turned down the oven on the spaghetti. As you guys can see, we have perfect, mm, perfect angel hair spaghetti. All right, so let's go ahead and drain our spaghetti. So we're gonna take this guy over here, and then pour, like so, here. Ooh, look at that spaghetti oz. Ooh. It's steamy, baby. Steamy, baby. Give this guy a quick rinse with some water. Here, 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 here. Now strain it out a one, two time with that shaking big chip. This can come here. So what you guys want to do now is grab an additional bowl and grab some pasta, all right? You want to put some pasta into your bowl like so. Enough so that it will fill up your meatball. So here we go with some pasta. Now, let's take a look at our sauce. And let's give this guy a quick taste test, shall we? Ooh, I'm aged. Amazing, exactly what we're looking for. So we're gonna take some sauce, boom, put it over the pasta like so. Here, here, all right? Now we wanna give the pasta a little mix with the sauce, here, here, here. Guys, be careful, this is gonna be very hot if you're taking it straight off the oven. But essentially, you just wanna mix all that marinara sauce with your pasta, all right? If you need a little bit more sauce, go ahead and add some, but you guys wanna make sure that it's completely covered in sauce like so. So once you have mixed up all your pasta and all your sauce together, we are ready to stuff this DIY giant meatball. So what we wanna do is just take our spaghetti like so. Here, here. Yo. All right, we wanna start stuffing this bad boy with spaghetti. That was a perfect amount, look at that. Boom, into the bowl it goes. Now we just wanna make sure that it is staying in our meatball, all right? Press that guy down just a little bit so that it doesn't take too much space. All right, now what we wanna do is top off our meatball, all right? So we're gonna take the remaining of our meat. What we wanna do actually is actually just press it down a little bit so that we kind of have an idea of what we're doing, all right? So we're gonna press this guy down. We can even use a little small surface to press it down like so. That way you're not playing yourself with the spaghetti, right? Exactly, don't ever play yourself. It's a one shot. It's a one shot affair. So grab the meatball, make one big dutty hamburger patty like so. Grab it all and then plop it up top. Now what you guys wanna do is with your fingers, go around the meatball and start capping the meatball, all right? You wanna take the top edge and mesh it with the small edge on the bottom so that we can make one big dutty meatball. Here, here. It's coming along pretty good, eh, Jado? Facts. Stuff, 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 stuff. We wanna make sure it is nice and 
closed up. No leaks in our meatball today here. Once this guy is all nice and sealed, we now have a DIY giant, giant spaghetti, spaghetti stuffed meatball. meatball. Yeah. So what we want to do is take some more aluminum foil, just like so. Grab this guy here, cut it like so, and we just want to cover this bad boy, all right? in all aluminum foil guys shiny side down so that it keeps the heat in and one more here and one more here and close this guy up like so here 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 now we are ready to start baking our diy giant spaghetti speedball so we're gonna put this guy into our oven that has preheated to about 380 we're gonna leave it in there for about an hour and a half close to two hours to make sure that it is fully cooked and then it is time for our favorite part of the video the taste test time let's get into it we're ready to put this guy in the oven yo i'm aged oh, that's all it takes buddy an hour and a half on the clock we're gonna give this guy a sufficient amount of time to cook and we'll catch you guys when we are ready to take this guy out. Here. 2,000 years later. Alrighty guys, so we have left the meatball in the oven for about an hour and a half. It is ready to go. We have to check up on what happened. Yo, I'm I haven't aged. seen it since. So here we go. Let's go. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, you hear it sizzling in there. All right, we're gonna turn that back I like that. We are gonna grab, here we go. Careful. Here, oh baby, this puppy is heavy. Here, all right, time to take off the aluminum foil and take a Yo, look at our Yo, let's DIY. see what's popping. Oh, Nelly. All right, so as we can see, the, it kind of exploded all over. So we, we have to salvage this meatball somehow. So what I'm thinking is, we are gonna take this bad boy over to this side. So we are gonna drain this meatball and then it's gonna be ready to be plated, all right? We'll reveal how this meatball turns out at the end. But I need to drain what's in here, so I need an assistant, Olivia's here. Hey, she's Italian, it's perfect. Yeah. All right, perfect. I need you to hold that plate and keep the meatball inside. So put, uh -huh. yeah, exactly, like that. All right, here we go, nice. Here. Ooh. Okay, okay. Yo, there's bare juices. And we want to make sure that all the juices come out. Good thinking. Look at this teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. Okay. Perfect. Now we have a giant meatball. All right, guys, they're going for the flip. One, two, three. Here. Okay, there you go, let go. Oh, it went. Okay, here. Holy, okay. There, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's move this guy to a working station. Yo, this is some Mission Impossible. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we have to try to take this guy. Some progress being made here. Okay. Oh, you can see it. I can see flashes of a meatball. Oh, 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 oh baby. Oh. Let's go. That's nice. All right, and take a look at this side. Ooh. Here. That, yo, this looks like a little, little like, Hello, like a little mouth right here. Yeah. You know, like photo, if you put one eye here, one eye there, it's a little head? smile. Hey, what's going on? All right, so we are gonna garnish this guy, and then we are ready to reveal our final DIY giant spaghetti stuffed meatball yank. Here, the moment of truth. Guys, here it is, a DIY giant spaghetti stuffed meatball yank. So here it is guys, the DIY giant spaghetti stuff meatball yay, all right? As you can see, we topped it off with some marinara sauce, put some Parmesan cheese on it, put a little bit of parsley on it for a vibe. The spaghetti is coming out. At first, guys, when I saw this in the bowl, I was like, ah, there goes the video, it's a disaster. But it actually turned out pretty well. The top part that we put on top ended up being a nice bottom part for when it was fully cooked. And the bowl actually shaped the giant meatball. So it turned out fantastic, but, it is time for our favorite part of the video. Jado, what are we doing? Taste test time. Taste test time. So, let's not waste any more time. We're gonna grab a little knife, all right? And we're gonna grab a big dutty fork. <laughs> and... This guy said big. <laughs> and we're just gonna do a nice little oh. slice here. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Yo, Chef Ramsey, that for your yeah, boy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be a nice dutty slice. Oh, it's a oh. slice thing. Okay, okay. All right, so. Here we go, our first slice. Oh, okay, baby, here we go. Ooh. Let's grab some of that. Let's put that in here. Ooh, oh, take in the rest of the spaghetti. That's so nice. Oh, this turned out fantastic. All right, now, time to taste test it. We're gonna put some spaghetti on this guy, and then we're gonna take some of the meatball, 
And then, mmm. 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 Bro. That's a banger. Let's that go. That is a banger. Oh my god. Bro, you can taste the nice meatball. I just had gourmet meatballs. This is kind of better. Bro, let me try. And the spaghetti roll with, oh, it's so good. Shout out. Get on the side, man. Bongolians, yeah. what do we have here? The DIY chai meatball game. Yo, I'm Ace. And Bongo, by your reaction, I can already tell this is a banger. Get some spaghetti in here. It's nice and hot, which is amazing. Okay, when we baked it, I left the house for a bit. I had to go buy some stuff. I swear to you, this no, guy bro. Called, up, called up the best pasta spot in town and said, yo, I'm gonna make this, bro. This is a beautiful pasta. It's nice, eh? I'm going in for another bite. That's how you know it's an absolute banger, bro. This like is amazing. That. I like that, I like that. The beef is so like tender, by the way. Yeah, it's nice, eh? Yo, no, that's cool. It was another the club bite. soda, Jared. Saying it was the club soda, I'll snuff you. Mmm. Here. John, yeah. Uh, you want to taste my DIY giant spaghetti stuff? Damn. Oh, yeah. Now that's a meal. Yeah, you what see it, bro. Heck? Take in how Yo, big that is. Yo, curious Pete is aged at trying to finish this. I Absolutely. Just say. Oh, oh, What's that's a money there? shot right there. Matt <gasps> Stoney is aged at trying to finish this. This looks like a nice, delicious, like bodybuilder meal. Bro, you know, this is ones? intense. Oh, I might my have God. to work out before this. Just before you. Oh yeah, yeah. Just a one, two. Here. Here, oh. here. All right, Sean. So, uh, should, I, should I eat this? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. I don't exactly. want to ruin this masterpiece right I here. mean, you could go for that one too if you want, but. Oh, let's, get, let's get a good amount of pasta in there. Ooh. There's a piece of beef on it. That's it, exactly. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Yeah. I'll kill you. No, no, no. This is amazing. No, no, no. What? All right, I'm good. I don't have to eat dinner anymore. I'm gonna just eat this. Bro, it's actually a banger. This is a Turned out banger, fantastic. bro. This, more people need to do meatballs like this. Just like regular size ones should be on every Italian restaurant menu in the entire world. Here. What are you saying? Bro, it's actually a banger. It's amazing. I just need a little more of that sauce. You know? I like that, I like that. If you don't stop making delicious giant DIYs, I might have to open up a restaurant called Bongo's Delicious Giant DIYs in the house and just start chopping these. No, 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 no. I would pay good money for this, and so would the rest of the world. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Sean Ye said he's gonna open up my own restaurant called Bongo's DIY. Giant insert anything here. <laughs> but I'm gonna end the video off right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Huge shout out to my boys for helping me out. YouTube.com slash chat with a J. I don't know what he's doing. He's probably editing the grind, don't stop. YouTube.com slash it's your boy. Thank you for taste testing it. Guys, I'm on the road to 1 million subscribers, right? So, roll to my channel, right? If I already hit it, don't worry. Just help your boy out. You know, I'm trying to get to 2 mil, but road to 1 million, let's get it. I will leave the links to the boys' channels down below in the description. Guys, also go check out my gaming channel. It's lit. We are live streaming on that guy almost all the time. And if I'm not doing it, Sean's doing it. And if Sean's not doing it, then Jazz's doing it. So go check out all the boys' channels. Comment down below a future DIY that you guys would like to see on this channel. Again guys, thank you so much for watching this video and till next time, take it easy, it's my